All right, so this is a firmware update of a Kenwood THD74 radio. We're going to use this USB analyzer software here to capture the firmware update. They have a free trial. Um, there's links to this on the wiki that will be in the description. Um, we'll also have the uh, firmware update tool from Kenwood that you can download off their website. And in it, it shows you uh, what you need to do to put your radio in firmware update mode. The, the different buttons you have to press down, PTT, the number one, and then press the power button. So we'll start a new uh, capture session. The radio needs to be on first, and then the THD74 will show up in here, and then we'll start the session. So now any, any USB data flowing between the computer and the radio will show up in here, uh, similar to like a Wireshark, um, just a different piece of software. So we'll clear out this initial data from the radio powering on and select the COM port here and clear this data and we'll start the update and we'll see it uh, start to be captured in here. There's a lot of different uh, transactional data going back and forth. There's one uh, 11 byte uh, packet of interest that has um, it's kind of a some some mathematical uh, formula of how the radio comes up with. Uh, how the data is obfuscated when it's sent over. So we'll talk about that in a minute. So what we want to do here is just capture the down packets and the stuff going out and everything over a thousand uh, bytes. And so what we're left here when we turn the filter on is these 1041 byte packets. You can see it starts with B0, B0. Yours will likely start with something different. So we need a calculator here to show us um, what that is. So the radio's completed updating now. So what we're gonna do is B0, and then an XOR, and AB. AB is what it's supposed to be. And so if we then XOR this data with one B, it will uh, basically put it back to how it should be. So uh, there'll be some other write-ups on how that was figured out. Um, being that I have the, the file from dumping a flash memory chip, uh, I knew what it was supposed to be, the rest of the file. So we're just selecting all these packets. I picked the bottom one, held down shift, and picked the top one. And we're going to export. And we're going to just give it a file name. And then when we pick the type, we'll pick as a binary file. If you don't pick a binary file, then you'll... Uh, the raw data there then you'll just get a bunch of other stuff in there you don't need and so I just added on here that um, it has the headers which is what we need to remove so each of these 1041 byte packets actually has 1024 bytes we need it has one byte at the end that's a checksum and it has 16 bytes in the beginning that's uh, some information about the 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 location and um, some other kind of header information. So we, what we want to do is strip all that off so we just have the uh, output. What you saw there was the in file is basically empty so uh, we delete that and we just keep the out file. This hex editor Neo here is what we'll use to open it. It's another freeware, or not freeware, a trial, trialware uh, software. It gives you a few days. It has a couple cool features. Um, one being that um, you can do uh, what you'll see here is a bitwise XOR. So you see the B0, B0 again there. And if we remember from our calculator, we needed to change that to 1B. Well, we need to XOR it with 1B. So what we're going to do is we're going to put 1B in here, and then we're going to tell it to do this, XOR this across the whole file. And if you see the data on the right hand side there, now it all changed to stuff we can read. So this is what your file will be. You probably won't have B0 unless you're incredibly lucky. Um, you'll have something else. So you'll XOR whatever yours is with AB and you'll get your, uh, your XOR value. Then we're just going to save this and um, we're going to go to the next step, uh, which is to... Um, yeah, now you can see. So what we're going to do in the next step is we're going to strip off the header, as I mentioned. So these 16 bytes here got to go um, because every 1,041 bytes, there's, uh, there's that header again. So it, uh, it means your, your firmware image has a bunch of extra stuff in it you don't need. 
um, that's not actually on the flash memory chip. So I, I made a quick uh, Python program here. Um, there's a link on the uh, Richesum wiki as well. And um, you see up there it mentions Yesu. I'll, uh, I'll talk about that in another video or a, or a post. But for the Kenwood, um, it has 1041 byte packets that you saw and a 16 byte header. And so this will just strip all that stuff off for us when we run it. We'll just give it those uh, parameters, the input file name, the output file name. The size of the um, the the packets from the, the software and then the, the size of the header, it automatically strips off that last byte um, for the uh, checksums. You don't have to worry about specifying anything for that. So we'll open it up in a hex editor now. Um, we'll open up the the version that still has the header so you can see what that looks like and then we'll open up the version that has it stripped off so we can take a look at that so in the stripped off version here um, we see the two files here we have the ABAB on the left hand side still has the header in there and we see that 16 bytes and then the file starts with 1c and now our new file just starts with 1c and the rest of it's gone. And we see here we'll go down um, 1024 bytes we'll find the end of it and we see okay there's a thousand twenty four bytes there's a 76 right on the end there that is the checksum and then we have our next 16 that starts and so we'll see on this one that at the end of the 1024 here, the 76 isn't there, and the um, ABAB uh, header that begins the, the next part also isn't there. And so this is also easy to see if you just scroll all the way down to the bottom of uh, this file. You'll see down here in this section that ends with all Fs, there it is, and on this one um, it's not there. So take a look. I have links to all these uh, different pieces of software that I used for this. Um, so you can basically get a firmware dump for completely free. Uh, check it out on the uh, Richesum Wiki and leave me uh, some comments if you have any questions or, or run into any issues. Thanks.